Decongestant nasal sprays are common over-the-counter medications to open up clogged nasal passages and alleviate nasal congestion. Decongestant nasal sprays accomplish this by chemically constricting the blood vessels thereby reducing the blood flow into the nose. With reduced blood flow, any mucosal swelling decreases alleviating congestion and improving nasal airflow. After a period of time, the medication wears off allowing the blood vessels to open back up and increasing blood flow into the nose again. Unfortunately, increased blood flow means the nasal mucosa will swell again causing recurrence of congestion and reduced nasal airflow. As such, the decongestant nasal spray will often be used again to alleviate nasal symptoms. Problem is that with prolonged chronic daily use, the need to continue and more frequently use this nasal spray will be required in order to achieve symptom relief. In a sense, the nose becomes addicted to the nasal spray. This condition is known as rhinitis medicamentosa or rebound congestion. It is hypothesized that this nasal spray dependence occurs due to the following. First, chronic blood vessel constriction leads to inadequate blood supplying nutrition to the nasal lining resulting in tissue damage. This in turn triggers reactive swelling. The blood vessels themselves may slowly become immune to the decongestant nasal spray which then necessitates higher dosages in order to achieve an effect. And finally, the blood vessels themselves may become leaky resulting in swelling. Treatment is to first stop using the decongestant nasal spray. Rebound congestion which will occur can be partially minimized with steroids, both oral and nasal spray. Over two to eight weeks, the nasal lining and associated blood vessels will slowly go back to normal. In order to avoid this condition in the first place, do not use any decongestant nasal spray for more than three consecutive days.